Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about evaluating limits. And this is a critical thinking question. So, they ask us here to give an example, or a minute or two, of a limit of a quadratic, of a quadratic function. Where the limit evaluates to not. Okay, so we're going to give an example of a limit of a quadratic function where the limit evaluates to not. Well, <clears throat> hmm, there's two answers, or there's many answers. I'm going to give two here. The first one is the limit as x approaches. Approaches minus three. X approaches three of x squared. Okay. Well, this one is fairly simple because we can see. Okay, we can plug directly three in for x. Okay. So by doing that, three in for x, three squared, right? Because it's a polynomial, and we can plug it in wherever it exists, right? Three squared is just nine. And there we go. Pretty straightforward. Another one we can do. Let me change it up a little bit. This limit as x, let's say, approaches two of x squared plus 5. Okay, well, again, polynomial, we plug 2 directly in for x, 2 squared plus 5, 2 squared is 4, so we have 4 plus 5, which is also equal to 9. So either one, either one of these would work, okay, for this uh, critical thinking question. So, recap, we're given, um, we need to find an example of a limit of a quadratic function where the limit evaluates to 9. Well, the first one, we have the limit as x approaches 3 of x squared, right? There's a limit, and we can plug directly 3 in for x. 3 squared is 9. Pretty straightforward. Another one we could do and, uh, is the limit as x approaches 2 of x squared plus 5. 2 goes right in for x. All right, 2 squared is 4. 4 plus 5 is 9. Okay? Now, there's many answers uh, for this, but uh, here are two simple ones to 